Time to know the top stories of the day. I am Jenny Arado. This is News Bits Tonight. A group of hog racers in Davao region expressed concern on the drop of sales of lechoneros and backyard hog racers to about 40% because of the African swine fever outbreak. Rob Gumba has more in this report. Hog Farmers Association of Davao Incorporated President Eduardo So said the farm gate prices of live hogs had gone down to 105 pesos per kilogram to about 90 pesos to 85 pesos per kilogram. He said the backyard hog racers were forced to lower their prices because of the slow demand, which saw the blame to the series of lockdowns and misleading information insinuated by restaurants about the African swine fever. He said some of the restaurants have announced an availability of pork meals on their menu with side notes like Iwas ASF. He said these kinds of messaging instilled fear in the people consuming pork when the disease only affects pigs. What do you mean by Iwas ASF? Hindi naman, hindi naman kayo nagsisurge na at kumakain sa itaon naman, hindi naman sa ito. So parang, it really hurt the industry of this kind of information. That's why we are pleading, uh, we are trying to campaign this, that pork is not, it has no problem, no related to human. The effect of the culling is very minimal. Very minimal. And the effect surprises the what happened right now, the, the drop in price because of fear, that is what killing the farmers, the, 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 the industry. Based on the records of the hog fadi, there are an estimated 126,000 backyard hog grazers in Davao region tending to around 760,000 swine heads. The commercial hog farmers are raising about 181,000 swine heads, totaling to about 941,000 swine heads in Davao region as of January this year. So said it comprised 73% of the total hog production in Mindanao. Aside from the misinformation, the inclusion of the non-ASF infected areas in the region in the implementation of lockdown has dragged the demand further. So said the association will be meeting with the regional directors of the Department of Agriculture to plan out concrete protocols to address the lockdowns. Rob Gumba, Newsbits Tonight. A transport group claims that Davao City is not yet ready for the high-priority bus system. Ralph Liemit for the details. Transmission Piston Secretary General and Dabawenyo Contra GPT Face Out Coalition member Larry Argilia said the city's infrastructure facilities are not yet prepared. Ang gobyerno, nga iyang ipanigoro, nga diliwad to sa mga pipilalang ng mga kumpanya. He said, facing out the public utility cheapness won't solve the worsening traffic condition in the city. He said, PUJs are not the main cause of traffic congestion of the city since 80% of those plying in the streets are private vehicles. Instead of facing out, Argilia said, the city government should impose a number or coding scheme. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpi in a previous press conference said she is open to the idea of implementing a coding scheme but only when the high-priority bus system fails to decongest traffic. Argilias added the city should strictly impose traffic rules and regulations, road widening, and utilizing rivers or seas as a transportation route. He also said creating a train system could also address the congestion of vehicles in the streets. On Tuesday, Dabawenyo Contra Jeepney Faceout Coalition was launched. It is a joint group of jeepney drivers and operators in Davao City, along with different transport groups, united to junk the HPBS implementation. City Assistant Administrator Tristan Dwight Domingo said in a recent press conference that there were some delays on its implementation, including the guidelines for the selection of bidders for the operation of HPBS. The city, in coordination with the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, recently organized a consultation dialogue 
and concerns regarding the proposed phase-out was explained to them. The dialogue also discussed the city's compensation packages to the affected drivers and operators. Ralph Yemit, News Pits tonight. To check more stories, visit our website www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. And that's all you need to know for tonight. Good evening.